like I got a sister in Africa, right? I'll be teaching and talking to her. And she happened to read where I found her because I traced my family all the way back to Benin, the kingdom of Benin. My, my seventh great-grandfather was uh, taken from the Benin kingdom in 1750, right? And the way they got him was the Benin people start fighting amongst each other and the loser was sold into slavery. Mm. It's all down there, what they call the slave coast, the Gold Coast, the slave coast down there in West Africa and stuff. That was all the Kingdom of Benin and stuff, you know, down there. But now if you look at Africa, that whole continent is ruled and divided by nine European countries. Mm. You know, like Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the biggest countries. The British named it Nigeria, the land of the niggers. It was, it was first Negro land named by the British. You know, Togo land was named by the Germans. You know, now when the, after World War II, when the Germans lost control, the French and the British took over Togo. And the British part of Togo became Ghana. They named it Ghana. You know, the majority language in Africa is French. You know, and I say all that, they're in worse shape than we are. That's why, like a lot of tell us, you guys, we got to teach the world. We got a whole lot of teaching to do. Not just here in America, but throughout the world. You know, there ain't no job. You know, the Arabs with the mystery guard and stuff, they was exploiters too. You know, they, was a, they used to castrate us. You know, when they went down there and got them Africans, they couldn't take them back to the country and castrate them because it was against the Islamic law. But before they got into the country, they would castrate them, mm. you know. And they divided Africa so much that they worse than us. The people in Togo, you know what they think of the uh, 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 so-called American Negro or us here in America? What do you think they think of us? Not too highly. They actually think that we God. Yep. Mm. They actually think that we God. You know why? Because they feel that they're being cursed because of what happened. Mm. That we sold our brothers. That they sold their brothers and sisters. You know? So the ancestors who they worshipped as gods from the Obers since 400 B.C. The Ober and the Ogasi. Those, that was just like we say God now and stuff. Those, uh, Ogasi and Oba means rulers of the sky. You know, because they controlled the sky back then. You know, America and, and the Europeans just learned about that job. You know, but that in those days, they already knew about all that. You know, and we haven't been to different planets. You know, and uh, so now, them people down there now, they look at us as the lost gods. You know, so we got a lot of teaching to do. You know, for real, because there's a whole lot of people out there, black people, white people, whatever, that don't know who we are, you know, and that's the whole idea of knowledge itself, man, to teach people about what? Self, kind, and others. That was the thing a lot of told us. Self, kind, and others. Mm. Self is those who are like you, kind, you can be kind to them, but they only kind of like you, you know, and then you got others who are completely other than their own what self, mm. you know, and uh, that's what we here for, for self, kind, and others, you know. Mm. But uh, all praise is due to Allah, and brothers like now, Allah. Y'all came with it. Because <laughs> it was a battle to get here, man. Just to still be here, man. If Mega did this. Mega did this.